What's going on YouTube? This is Kirby Jr. I wanted to show you guys this recording software called Action. Action is supposed to be the number one gameplay recorder for Windows. I don't think it's available for Mac. I just started using it a couple days ago. Um, I thought it was the best thing in the world, but after playing with it a few days, it, it's okay. There's some things that it doesn't do that I wish it did. And then there's some things that it does that no other recorder I've noticed does. So, it's kind of a hit and miss. Anyways, I'll quickly go over it and you guys can tell me what you think about it. So the first tab in the software is pretty much what you want to record. You can record a section, the desktop, or the game. You can pick the file format, the resolution, and the frame rate. I'm recording in 60 frames. It's supposed to be better. The next tab is the live portion of it you can stream directly to twitch that's pretty awesome I also think you can remote from your phone onto your game on your computer somehow I haven't played with that there is a recording for audio there's a benchmark never touched that yet a screenshot area which is fine and all but I use Jing this is Jing Jing is free creates a URL based on the picture so you can send the link to your friend and he can see whatever picture you got. This last tab is the configuration settings. There's a lot of configuration settings in here. You gotta kinda play with it. Uh, once you get it set up, it's very easy to use. There is a webcam section, which I'm definitely using. There's also microphone settings. I've played with these. I'm not sure if they affect the video like the sound like really well or really bad they work you know what I mean there's also a HUD box up here in the corner is where I put mine you can put it you know anywhere I think putting it in the middle of your screen is kinda of stupid then there's export settings I haven't really touched these these are kinda of default and then the last is all the hotkeys I'm gonna open Bandicam and then you guys can kinda of look at how they look side by side So definitely this one looks more modern, it takes up more space on the screen and you got kind of this quick view of all your videos whereas Bandicam you have to go here to open it or the output area. Anyways, all in all it's not a bad recorder, um, it is $50 for commercial use, kind of steep for probably a college kid or a teenager unless they have rich parents that buy them everything they want. I'm an old 30, 30 year old guy. I have a job. I don't really like buying software unless I have to. So I'm probably, uh, I want to say I make decent money. I can afford it. If I don't use it, it's just a, kind of a waste. So what I was saying was I'll probably use this for recording desktop because it works perfect for that. But game, not so much. Now the problem I have with that aspect of it is I've done tons of configuration changes and I'm having dropped frames, I'm having sync problems with audio as well as video. I'll be shooting my gun and the gun will go like this and the sound will come two seconds later. Super stupid, super annoying. <laughs> Not something I want to deal with. And then the last part, which is the deal breaker for me when I record on it after about five or six minutes it sounds like squirrels it, it, it you don't understand that because you guys are just watching it but literally it's like da -da 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 -da. like your voice is very sped up like the software is trying to put your voice in the video together and it can't so it's up to you guys let me know what you think about action recording software let me know if you think it's a good deal a bad deal a waste of money whatever um, I will definitely upload some gameplay with it so you guys can kind of compare the resolution that it does against Bandicam. Alright, thanks for watching.